Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a big SQL database file and import it to a localhost WAMP installation. What am I going to do? I have, I have already downloaded the localhost file. This is the localhost file I have downloaded. And I've placed the localhost file in the big dump folder. This is the localhost file. It's a localhost.sq and I've compressed it to gzip. I, I'm going to show you in the image. Wait a second. This is the file, the image. If you're in PRP by admin, you have to scroll down and you have to make sure in this part or this section or PRP admin, nothing is selected in here. And that you have selected none of the above. If you have done that, you, you click on start and it will export your file and make the localhost file. What you get to do also is you have to create a gzip compressed file. I'm going to show you what I mean. To do that I have to go back online to my website I go back there because I want to enter my cPanel. This is the database. I go to the web admin and I click on export and then I click on this advanced and then you have to choose compression and you have to choose gzip and then what you have to do is scroll down like I, I showed you in the file this has to be empty and you have to select none of the above and then you click start then it will create a localhost file here below and that file you will add to the localhost and then I go to then you have to go to the big dump file and you have to find this database configuration if you want to use it for a WAMP installation you have to fill in a localhost you have to fill in a DB name human sponsors uh, 3.0 new and this is DB password but you don't fill that in on a web installation. If you are in, you know, in an online situation you, you use the DB server localhost, you use the DB name, your your database name, and your username and password won't your username won't be good in an online situation. It will be the username you have chosen for your database. Database. So then then you have to fill in the database and password that you have chosen online. If you if you're going to uh, scroll down, you see the file name and the optional settings. You have to fill in the file name here. So in this case, it's localhost.sql.gz. If you don't fill the, this in or you don't fill in the correct file name, it won't work. So now we have talked about settings for big dump now we're going to make sure the PMP my admin is ready the local host one I'm going to ramp PMP my admin like you can see and then I go to human sponsors 
3.7 new. I'm going to just select everything and I'm going to just remove it because it won't work if you don't remove the database first. Everything has to be empty. So it's now all, all tables are gone. So I have, I'm going to go to the big dump file here. This is the localhost human sponsors 30 big dump big dump where I, this is where I've located it on my localhost. I'm going to click on start import and it's going to start importing the SKU file. This is how Big Dump works. And Big Dump is meant for large SKU files. So if you are not having a small database anymore, you will need Big Dump. And you only have to wait for it to be finishing. As you can see, it it has a lot of MB. And you just have to be patient with the load. So just make sure you make a, a do exactly like I have told you with the, for the PFP my admin. Just make a compressed keyzip file and make sure this database settings are empty here. This shouldn't be selected because well big dumps will, will stop stop working on a certain point and then it won't load in your SKU correctly. So make sure this is none of the above and this is empty. And now we're going to go back to see how far Big Dump has gone so far. There we go. It's already on this. It's almost finishing. Just another like 10 MB. Just be patient with this to load. You can do all kinds of stuff on the same time. You don't have to look at the screen all the time all the time when you're doing this with your own website. As long as you make sure that the screen says it has finished, that it has done so correctly because it can stop with errors and then it won't work. Your website won't work correctly if it hasn't finished correctly. And by the way, if you want to download Big Dump, just make sure you go to the website. It's easy to find, you just fill in Big Dump. This is what it's called. And it's on the top, it's Big Dump. It has good reviews, it's a good... It's a good for... PHP script, I've been using it for a long time. You can download it here and then you have the same script as I've been using in this tutorial. And by the way, it's not my script, it's someone else's, but I, I like the script, so I promote it on my channel. So, still not finished. You can also check that it's not finished yet by going to the localhost. You will see it still has errors in it and it will, will have errors in it until it's finished correctly.
is not meant to be a me. So it should be there, almost there. See on the website already. Okay, let's see. It only has to show, and now what it has to show is that it has been finished correctly. see the yes, website uh, seems to be working okay congratulations and the file reads assuming okay important to remove your dump file and make dump skip from the server now now well, that would be uh, is this is a good recommendation on the online website, you shouldn't keep your big down file in there because other people. Let's assume I would do this uh, tutorial with an online website, and you would uh, would perfectly know where my big down file was. And you should just go to the website and just try it again. That wouldn't be good. So. Uh, it's uh, good to remove the big down skip from the server. And I hope you like this tutorial. And I hope you'll be back to my channel soon. I hope to see you back next time. Wait a minute, I don't need to go. Yeah, it's